Hello, my name is Maureen Chibweze. I am 30 years old and I'm a Nigerian. What makes Nigeria very special is the diversity of our culture. Our people are welcoming, we're homely people, and we're also talented and very skilled people. Another um, characteristic of an average Nigerian is a hard worker. We don't settle for less. We're always aiming at the top. My favorite hero will be my dad, Dr. Wagu Chibri the Celestino. My dad is a hard worker. My dad has demonstrated integrity. He taught me integrity. My dad, over the years, has taught me how to stand for myself. My dad has made me see that the girl child can achieve much more. You know, down back here in Africa, we focus majorly on the boy child. But my dad has made me see myself beyond my gender, beyond my sex, beyond, you know, what the African norm would see me as. The Executive Empire started in 2018. And then for me, it has not always been pas passion. You know, it was at a moment when I needed money and I needed the means of survival, you know, what to put body and soul together. So I just ventured into big sales and human hair sales. But along the line, I started getting information. I started researching, you know, um, enrolling in classes for wig making. And then that spurred up my interest in wig making. The executive empire, particularly for women who are in the career world or business world, women who are super women, women who are strong. So for us, executive encompasses African women who are doing well in their fields, African women who know what their goal is, who know what their vision is, African women who have identified themselves, African women who are strong. So the Executive Empire is just a hair brand that focuses on this range of women. Because I work with five um, breeders, but I also have breeders in Akwa I also have breeders in um, other parts of Lagos, that's the mainland. But here on the island, I have five breeders working with me. The hardest thing for me was getting clients. The truth of the matter is, the target market for braided wigs are not necessarily African women living in Africa. African li women living in diaspora. So, you know, a girl, this was just a girl who started up with nothing, had no um, background knowledge about business. So reaching out to my target audience was a very difficult challenge for me. And then also raising funds to start. Uh, was, was a very, very difficult challenge for me. And then venturing into something that you know nothing about. It was, I, I made a lot of mistakes. I had a lot of, I experienced a lot of losses in business, but you know, you grow and you learn from those things, those experiences. There are lots of things that make my wigs very special. First of all, it's custom fit. So it's made specifically for you, according to your measurements. Secondly, my wigs are very, very light. Very, very light, yes. You're putting on a wig by the Executive Empire and you don't even have an idea you're putting on a wig. Then thirdly, our wigs are affordable. We use the best materials. I mean, we import these materials from China and then we process them over here in Nigeria. And then we take our time to make sure that every strand is being picked into weaves or braids according to the desire of my customers is putting a smile in my client's face. Every customer who patronizes the executive empire, we make sure that we provide optimum satisfaction. So for me, having that good review, hey, I just got my wig, I love it, it fits, it's the happiest part or it's the best part for me in business. Is the perception here in Africa, um, if you're a woman who is doing business, particularly fashion business, you're tagged a prostitute or a loose woman. But that's not the case here. I am a BSc holder. 
I am currently running my master's program and I'm doing my business. I am I'm self-employed, I am making my own money. I'm not dependent on any man or anybody for money. My favorite brand in the world, I would say is Africa, Africa. And this is not because I am a vendor under Africa, but because of the story behind Africa. It's owned by an African and the brand Africa has given a lot of African businesses, you know, platform to be visible, not just to Africans, but to the entire world. For me, it's, um, it's like a mirror image of what the executive empire is achieving for the future. We want to be able to give other African breeders, other women opportunity to showcase their talent, their skill to the world. I mean, Africa is blessed. We're blessed with a whole lot of resources, talent, and skill. So for me, it's Africa. And um, I want to encourage Africa to keep up with the good work. Thank you so much. We love you. The services I love the most on Anchor are first, the payment. I love getting paid. I mean, who doesn't love getting paid after um, working? But um, secondly, I would say that my clients are able to make payments through a secured platform. For me, that has always been one of my challenges previously, up until I signed up into um, Anchor. You know, having, um, giving your clients the opportunity to make secured payments. Then secondly, I would say conversation. I love to interact with people. I love that. I love to talk to my clients. I love answering their questions. I love making a um, healthy relationship with my clients. I love solving their problems. So I would say it's the payment and the conversation. <laughs> affordable shipping fee. I don't have to worry about my clients crying over high shipping fee. Oh my God, I love your product. I want to buy your wigs, but shipping is expensive. So DHL has, DHL on Anchor has subsidized um, shipping fees and, and DHL has made it affordable for clients all over the world. So now shipping fee is no longer a challenge for me. And also the fast shipping I experience on DHL. I mean, I sent my wigs to France and in two days my clients have received it. You know, it's, it's cool because one of the things clients lack is patience. So DHL has been able to, you know, curb that challenge. I have shipped to 27 countries all over the world via DHL on Anchor. First, seek knowledge because knowledge would guide you through the right path. You avoid making costly mistakes in business. Then secondly, surround yourself with like minds. They are um, entrepreneurs who have information part-time. If you hang out, if you hang around people like this, you're sure not to lose out on opportunities. Then thirdly, get online, get signed up into Africa, Africa broke the jinx for me in business. And then lastly, if you wanna go global, then you have to deliver excellence because that is what would speak for you. And remember, you're trying to build a brand, a brand where you have other competitors who have gone far. So take your time, you know, um, discover what your business goal is. What do you really want to do? Who are your target um, audience? Then find a mentor who would guide you and who would train you in diverse areas of business. So that at the end of the day, you're making progress at little cost. I would like to thank God, first of all, for the gifts of um, passion, skill, and talent. And I also want to thank the Africa team, Molaye, Sazuz, Jessica, I can't remember you all, but I want to say a very big thank you. Thank you for providing um, African businesses like ours, small businesses like ours, the platform to be visible, the platform to be seen around the world. I also want to thank my family, my parents, Dr. and Mrs. Mwago. I want to thank my sister. She has been supportive, Lucy Chibwezi. 
I also want to thank my boyfriend, Dr. Bucci. Thank you so much for the love, the sacrifices, the time. And also, lastly, my clients all over the world. You are amazing. Thank you for making this business stand today. We are standing because of you. Thank you. God bless you.